do 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 it's the girl in the denim top again that's all she wears, denim tops. If you've been watching my vlogs recently, you'll see that I bought quite a few denim tops. What is... I swear they were just flashing. See, this is what they're meant to do, but I swear they were just flashing. I don't want to give anyone, like, a seizure. I'm going to put them on normal. But that, that's fine, though. That's what I wanted them to do. Oh, they're changing now. I put them on the wrong one. Oh. Oh, this is sparkly unicorns and welcome back to my channel so today we're going to be doing the massively overdue very very late january favorites and no one cheered i don't have a massive amount of favorites this month so this video could be very very tiny but depends how long i waffle for that's something that i do let's get straight into it okay so the first thing that we're going to talk about isn't a makeup thing or a hair product or a skin product or anything like that it's kind of random but I bought this like a little sheep because every man, dog, child, woman, man, dog, child, woman has been talking about this and just going on and on and on and on and on about it. I was like, you know what? If I see it, I'll pick it up. I did see it. It was like five quid. And I was like, no, I'm not buying that. I'm not spending that. And then I saw it somewhere else and it was an offer for two. It is the Method Anti-Back Cleaner. <laughs> All purpose cleaner in the rhubarb. Okay, so I thought this was just a hype as a lot of things get the hype. I mean, it smells. Oh, I can't open it. 2,000 years later. Okay, I'm not gonna open it. I'll smell the lip. You, you can't smell it. It smells of rhubarb, which I'm not actually a massive rhubarb fan, but this one's quite nice. Mark loves the smell of rhubarb. He's obsessed with rhubarb. So I thought I'd get it, you know little treat for him maybe might encourage him to clean this has no chemicals as well which is something that really like appealed to me having pets um especially a cat cats get up on the side i mean you could say i don't let my cat up on the side. i wouldn't let my cat near anywhere where i prepare for your cat gets up on the side when you're not looking your cat is up on the side trust me so i have to like clean my surfaces quite a lot and keep on top of that um but also with that if you're using like anti-back or cleaning products there's a lot of chemicals in those things so i like to to use things that aren't necessarily full of chemicals so I use sensitive baby wipes where I can to clean up messes and things like that and go in with a natural anti-back which this is this sounds like an advert it's not but if you want to just that's cool we can do that you can you can do that I'd be cool with that and it actually cleans pretty well when you go in a little bit later the, the sides are sparkling which I've never had before um, which is quite nice and the smell lingers quite a while so it smells lovely when you've done it and it's a huge huge bottle I paid two pounds for this that was an offer uh, I paid two pounds for this and I've had this nearly three weeks I've had it for three weeks and I've only used that much but I do use this every day if not two to three times a day so it's done quite well and I have quite a few counters and I have some in like where I do uh, laundry and everything there's counters in there that I wipe down so yeah it's done quite well I really 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 like this and I would recommend you give it a go okay so the next thing I have I'm not actually sure whether I put it in favorite or not even if I did I'm putting it in again because I am just absolutely obsessed with it I mention it pretty much in every beauty video I do it is the Primark PS my perfect color perfect finish foundation and I am the shade porcelain yes porcelain this stuff oh my god it's so good it is two pound fifty and like, my skin looks so good. My favourite foundation of all time, which, to be honest, I think this is slowly replacing it, but my favourite foundation of all time is the Urban Decay All Nighter. But it's quite heavy, and that's fine. I, look, I am a cake it on girl, but for days like today, when I'm just filming and just pottering about in the house, I want to wear makeup because it makes me feel better. And I just feel like my skin looks so good, and it lasts as well. Again, I'm not sponsored, but I wish I was because I, I use this so much. It does go quite quickly. I do feel like for me anyway it's more of a buildable it's a medium coverage this one it's a semi matte finish with vitamin E I have to go on a little bit more on my cheeks but I do have massive hyperpigmentation on my cheeks that are red and a bit blotchy um, I think that's just the way my skin is I've tried everything um, I can live with it because there are products that I can cover it with so it doesn't bother me too much this stuff is incredible I'm wearing it today and it, it just looks so nice and I just, I can't get over the price, it's £2.50. £2.50, you can't go wrong, can you? So this is my 
absolute perfect everyday foundation. Love it. The next thing we're going to talk about is um, if you've been watching my vlogs, you will know that I went to Lidl and I was massive and massively unimpressed. Now, as a family, when I was younger at home with my parents and everything, they always used to shop at Lidl. They raved about Lidl. Lidl was great. The food that came back was awesome. Obviously, I moved out and there wasn't a Lidl near me, so we shopped at like Asda or bigger supermarkets like that. And now we're back at Aldi and we love Aldi. But there was one thing from Lidl that I feel like I have to mention because I love it. It's this Cien hand gel. So it's a hand sanitizer and I love this stuff. It's not sticky. It was like 70p and it just smells like mint. It smells minty and I think that's why I like it so much. But it's not sticky and it's really nice. And it just doesn't have that like, oh it might be grapefruit. Mint and grapefruit, I want to say. It's probably not even got any of those products in it. It's probably just me with my waffy smell. It's a lovely size to fit in your bag and it's like 70p, I think. Don't quote me on that, but it's around that. One of the things I hate about anti bat gel, so you use it and then you rub your hands together and you can smell alcohol all the time and you think that people passing you or the people that you're with who didn't see you put this on sort of think, oh, is she drinking? It's like 9am. And especially if you're driving and get out of the car, so I really like and appreciate that this doesn't stink heavily of alcohol. That's like one thing from Lidl that I'm quite happy with. The last thing we have is this crinkly thing. I'm gonna take it out the crinkly because it's, it's too crinkly. The last thing we have is this, I wouldn't even know what to call it, chrome powder. I don't know whether you can see there. Uh, number eight, apparently. If you want to know uh, where I got this from, then comment below and I will link it for you guys. It was just off eBay. I think I paid $2.99 for it. And I've basically got it on today. It's a fine, hello, it's stuck to the thing again. I always panic when I open this, it's gonna go everywhere. Right, I don't know if you can see. It's a very, very, very fine glitter powder. And that's all I'm showing you because you guys know me, it will go everywhere. It's like a pinky, purpley, goldy, greeny, shimmery shade. And you can put this on the top of nail polish and then put a top coat, top coat? Nope. The top coat on over the top. Um, it works with gel nails and all sorts of stuff. And this is basically what it, my heating just came on. That scared me so much. As you can see, it's like an amazing chromey shifting powder. And this is put on over the top of a completely like solid color aubergine color so it has lightened it but it just looks so good my nails are chipping please ignore I need to redo but um, I just love it I just think it looks so cool and then you can put it on different colors so this is on a purple and um, it would look really cool over black I imagine it'll look amazing over white which is actually what I'm gonna try next it just looks so cool and I love it it's just something a bit different and you just rub it onto your nails and then put your top coat on wait for that to dry and then just go dust off the rest. I mean, I'm not a nail technician in any way, but I believe that's how it's done. It, that's how it's turned out, which which was the goal, so I'm quite happy with it. It does, it just looks so cool. Oh, I can spend all day doing this. Okay, guys, so that's it. That was a very, very, very short January favourites. I didn't have a massive amount of new stuff this month. Comment below if you've tried any of these products and what you think to them. Hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, and if you're new here, don't forget to hit that little notification bell because that way you'll be updated every single time I upload a new video. Thank you so much for being here with me today, guys, and I will see you soon. Bye.